Hmm, snacks. These are all the things that are ready to eat on the market. They're sweets. Let's see. Oh, pasta di mandorla. So this is made from ground up almonds. So far so good. Let's read the ingredients. Let's see. Fair trade cane sugar, almonds, pistachio nuts, eggs. Mm, egg whites and honey. Mm -mm. No, no. A lot of the industrial made snacks actually are not vegan unless they're specifically written 100% vegetal or vegan. Most of them contain secret ingredients, maybe um, siro di latte, like a, a milk uh, casein or um, uh, defatted milk powder or something like that. Sometimes they'll even put egg powder or egg white powder. So usually I try to avoid uh, store-bought sweets, prefer preferring to make them at home by myself, which is really not that difficult. If you just, you know, give yourself an hour, you can have delicious homemade sweets that is much easier and easier on the budget and also better for you. So, and you know exactly what's in there. So that's a great advantage. Let's see if we can find something vegan. Mm. This is a muesli snack. So, so far so good. Usually those are um, vegan. Let's see, skim milk powder. There you go, there it is. So, okay, I'm gonna have to put this one back as well. So learn to read every single label very carefully because what it seems like from the outside, a vegan product, but may not be. So be very, very careful. Another thing that's also very general is uh, natural flavoring. Now, natural flavoring, what is that? Oftentimes, it's um, also animal-based. So you can have, like, for, for example, uh, potato chips that have um, beef extract in them, for example, or chicken broth in them. And they just call it natural flavoring because the companies want to keep their secret recipes. They don't want people to duplicate them. So under the laws, depending on the countries that you live in, um, allow the labeling natural flavoring. So unless it says 100% vegan or 100% vegetal, I wouldn't trust it. That's just my two cents. Let's go to the most important part of the vegan pantry, actually vegan fridge, um, the produce section. Obviously not everybody can buy everything organic, but there are certain rules to follow. There are five top vegetables that are pesticide laden. And look at these beautiful radicchio. They're really nature's work of art. 